CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Why didn't the capsule Rexus work? It looks complete, but it's really not. Let's show you this case here. Now, starting off with a looking like a routine case here, some tripan blue dye. Let me tell you about our podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. It will teach you to be more successful. Check it out. Now, going back in here, your viscoelastic going in, and time for a capsule rexus, right? Everything looks pretty routine here. Maybe a little soft shell technique here. Here's a paracentesis going in with the forceps and kind of poking in. And I like that style. That's how I do it too. And eh, having a little bit of a tough time. There we go. You poked in. And now continuing, going around and around here, keeping this nice and curvilinear and getting that beautifully centered. So it all looks pretty good, right? I mean, watch carefully because you're going to be surprised. And have you figured out what's going on just yet? All right, so just trying to get this. It kind of seems like a thin capsule, but look, that's a beautifully round circle. That's a nice look. That looks great. All righty, ready for faker, right? So hydrodissection. You try hydrodissect, what happens? Look. You can't hide or dissect. That was a second capsule. Now you're going to poke in again, and now you're going to get the capsule rex done. So is this true exfoliation of the lens capsule, or lens capsule has been split in half? So it's a split lens capsule. You did one capsule rex, and now you've got to do a second one? Something very interesting. So yeah, this is an unusual case. It looks like there's basically two anterior capsules. So the anterior capsule is split. Now, though the anterior capsule is pretty thin, it's typically noted to be about 14 microns, but in this situation, maybe it's split. Maybe it's a developmental thing. Maybe it is true exfoliation. Not sure exactly. Leave a comment below. If you've experienced this before, and I have not, please leave a comment below so we can all learn together. So this is obviously a very rare occurrence, less than one in many tens of thousands, because I can tell you, in my career, I've actually never encountered this. Sure, you have patients who have like prior uveitis or iritis, and you see they have a pupillary membrane. That's not what this is. This is an otherwise totally normal case, no other ocular history to be concerned with. And it's just double capsule. So here we go. Let's see the technique here of FACO. We've obviously sped the video up. So it looks like buzz buzzing with the FACO probe and perhaps a, a vertical chop. Beautiful. Let's see. Get that propagated. Buzz in with the probe again, and here we go. And there's the chopper. And nicely done. Propagate that chop all the way through. Rotate this thing. Rest the case should be pretty normal. So that's well, that's our cataract quiz for the day. What was that? Yeah, it's a split anterior lens capsule, meaning that it's like a doubled up lens capsule. The entire width of the anterior lens capsule was doubled. So interesting, so different. Now, if you do like cataract quizzes, guess what? You can have all of them. You got hundreds of them. The Cataract Quiz Series, the easiest way to find it is actually to go to the website cataractcoach.com and look under the complete list of articles and videos, and you'll see we have an entire section of just the quiz. And so you can see all the Cataract Quizzes here. And here on YouTube, we're going to try to get that organized for you as well to get all of these quizzes in a playlist. Again, with more than 2,000 videos, it certainly does take some time. So here, beautiful chop technique, removing that. I want to show you the end of the case just so we can see at the end of the case here, is the rest of the capsule normal? Is Zion support normal in this case? What actually happened here? Is the posterior capsule normal? Is it doubled up too? Well, let's be very careful here. I don't want to find out the wrong way. So cleaning up a little bit of that epinuclear shell, maybe perhaps switch to the IA probe. And then we can see the rest of the case here. There's the IA probe and taking this out. So the rest of the capsule appears pretty much normal. So again, this is a doubling of the anterior lens capsule. We have featured a video similar to that before on Cataract Coach. If you look careful, you'll find that. And so this is important. The beauty of what we do on Cataract Coach is you can see this unusual case and put it into your mind's library of surgical knowledge. So if you ever encounter a case like this, you'll say, hey, I saw a video about this. I know exactly what this is. There we go. Here's the lens being inserted into the injector. Get that implanted inside the eye. And we'll call this one a, a day. So let's take a look carefully. A little bit of maybe transillumination iris defects, or maybe it's just a patient with very, very lightly pigmented iris. It looks like a monofocal lens going in the bag. The rest of the bag was pretty normal. Very interesting case. Again, I'd love to hear from all our listeners and viewers. If you have seen a case like this before, please leave us a comment below. And remember, check out that podcast. Truly, we have a podcast every week. It's only an hour. It will teach you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist. You will love it.